When people look at the future and look at Jerusalem, they sometimes ask, will there be another temple? The first temple stood in the heart of Jerusalem. It was the temple of King Solomon, stood in the center on Mount Zion. Then the Babylonians came, destroyed Jerusalem and the temple, took the Jews into captivity. It happened between 600 and 500 before Christ. After that, a second temple was built. And it was a beautiful temple. And Jesus, when he was a young boy of 12 years old, he went to the temple to sit at the feet of the teachers of Israel to learn more about the things of his father, his father in heaven. That temple, that second temple, has also been destroyed. Actually, on the same date as the first temple was destroyed. Now, today, on the place of that temple, because the Romans destroyed the city, they destroyed the temple, they spread the Jews all around the world, and so there was no temple anymore on Mount Zion. Later came the Muslim forces. They conquered that piece uh, in the Middle East, and they built two mosques on the place where once the temple stood. It is the mosque with the Golden Dome, the Dome of the Rock, the Omar Mosque, and a second mosque, the Al-Aqsa Mosque. And even within the mountain, they are digging today to establish a third mosque. But when you read the Bible, one day there will again be a temple in the heart of Jerusalem. When you read the final chapters of the book of Ezekiel, chapter 40 to 48, you read about a beautiful temple, about a priesthood, about sacrifices, uh, different from the sacrifices in the other temples. Um, and everyone who reads these chapters uh, know that this temple has never been built. But the Bible says there will be a temple because the prophecies of Ezekiel will be fulfilled. One day there will be a temple. Now, how can that happen? How can there be a temple again? I think uh, we will see great changes in that area of the world. Maybe there will be big wars. Uh, the Bible speaks about many nations being gathered to Jerusalem. But the Bible also speaks about how the Mount of Olives will even split in two. Jesus is coming back to the Mount of Olives. But also, changes will be there in the landscape. Um, and then, Mount Zion will be the highest mountain, uh, and there will be a third temple. There will be a road from that temple a little northern of Jerusalem. Living waters will come from that temple. They will split in Jerusalem, two streams, one going to the Mediterranean Sea, the other going to the Dead Sea, which is so salty today. But then fresh, sweet water will change the water of that sea so that even fishermen will stand there to catch fish in what today is the Dead Sea. So there are many things in the Bible concerning the future also the future of the Middle East, also the future of the city of Jerusalem, uh, also changes uh, in the landscape. You know that there is uh, the Arava, which is a big uh, crust, an opening in the crust of the earth almost. It starts at Lake Victoria in Africa and runs all the way to the north to Israel, the River Jordan is part of it. One day there will be so much tension in the earth that changes will take place. But ultimately Jerusalem will be Jerusalem. There will be the temple and there will be the coming of the Lord. And from Jerusalem, he, the great Prince of Peace, will rule the world. The nations will come to Jerusalem to ask his advice. He will rule 
the nations with an iron rod, the Bible says. Dash them to pieces like pottery, if need be. But he will rule in a just way, so then peace will fill the earth. And if you know Jesus, you will be part of that future. Because the King, the King of kings and the Lord of lords will need a queen. And he promises, if you give your life to Jesus, if you serve him till the very end, when he comes in glory, you will be resurrected and you will be part of that kingdom to come. If you have Jesus, you have everything. If you don't have Jesus, you have